On this video, we're going to go over the trim function and we're going to find out what it does. So let's say we have a variable and it has a lot of spaces on the beginning and on the end. So let's display this variable first. Display. There's a lot of space before here and there's a lot of space after. Now the after it's difficult to see because there's no indication here. So let's put something before and after the variable so we know when it starts when it ends. So I'm going to put a couple of angle here and here so we know where it ends and where it starts. Run it so we know it starts right here and it ends right here. Now notice that these two angle brackets here are not part of the variable. I'm just displaying them within the right line so we know what part the trim is removing. So the first one let's use the trim function and then we're going to display the trim, the cut, and then we're going to display the city variable again. So the first one had a lot of space on the beginning and the end, and then we trim and no space in the beginning of the end. So that's the first function. The second one is trim end, and that trims the spaces on the ends of the variable only. So let's test it. So the original variable and then the second time when you print it you remove the ends only. There's also the trim start and as the name implies it removes only the start empty spaces of the variable. So there it is, remove the beginning only and the end stays intact. So let's go back to the trim only so it trims the beginning and the end. And let's say I have a name that has two strings. So let's say instead of a Seattle we have San Francisco. And if I use the trim variable, one would think that the space in the middle would be also trimmed, but it doesn't. So trim only works for the beginning and from the end. If there is any space within two strings, it doesn't do anything with it. So if you want to remove something, cut. If you want to remove a space between these two strings, you need to write your own code for that.